Damn, this thing looks aggressive. It's wild, man. So when they first pulled up, they had the street wheels on, street wheels and tires, and I said, uh-uh, <laughs> go put the race wheels on because we got to feel every bit of this thing from a dig. What's up, guys? Javier from That Racing Channel. Today, we have an awesome episode in store for you. Behind me, we have a 2019 Audi RS TT. This thing is so sick, and this thing looks absolutely menacing on this 15-inch drag pack. We definitely have Audi fever. We recently featured Mark's Audi RS3, and that thing just blew my expectations away. It was such an awesome car, such a great experience to drive. So this is basically the same drivetrain as the RS3, except it comes in a smaller package. So it's like three to 400 pounds lighter, which is a huge difference. Other than that, it's the same 2.5 liter, five cylinder turbo. This one's actually on a stock turbo and has been in the nines, which is absolutely mental when you really think about that it has a factory turbo, a factory transmission, factory engine with bolt-ons, and of course E85. Man, I cannot wait to ride in this thing. All right, guys, so let's check this thing out. What's up, my man? Hey, how's it going? How you doing, brother? Good, good. Go ahead and fire her up. Ooh, man, this thing looks beast on this wheel and tire setup. <laughs> God, just like the Audi RS3 that we featured, this thing just sounds so good. They really do it for me. All right, man, let's go for a spin. Just the lines on this car. They've really transformed these things over the years. And just like the RS3, these things, the interior is just real, real nice. Oh. That gets it. That puts you in the seat, bro. All right, let's do it, man. So give us a rundown on the modifications. So basically, it's pretty much a bolt-on affair. Got a stage two uh, Unitronic reflash uh, for the engine, and then it has a stage two Unitronic TCU flash. Aside from that, we worked with 034 in terms of getting a, a intake done for it. Uh, so it's got an intake from 034, Miltec, uh, non-resonated downpipe, Wagner intercooler, it's got an Evo 3 Wagner intercooler. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it. So it's factory turbo, factory engine, yep. factory trans. Transmission is completely stock, engine is completely stock. I mean, the car has probably 5,000 miles on it. And one thing I will say, and I, I don't know if you mentioned it, but the wheels, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people might look at it and be like, what, you know, what in the world's going on there? But for any racer, right? If, if you don't like the stance of this thing and how hard this thing looks <laughs> on those wheels, I don't know. We can't be friends now. <laughs> that was probably the one of the things I disliked about the car the most was the factory 20s. I wanted more meat on the tires, so I, I went ahead and got some new speed wheels for the street. And then I was sitting around in the shop and I told my, my tech, hey man, what do you think? Let's get some some Bilax. You know, they look so good on the on the Talon. So I talked with Damien over at Bilac and we put together a, a 15 inch package and you know, that, that was pretty much it. That's gotta be my favorite thing about this car. It, it just looks so aggressive. I think we saw it for the first time at Bradenton Motorsports Park at the reunion. That thing is, honestly, you can't say enough, so beautiful. I got a lot of compliments from the guys out there. I mean, it's been pretty pretty fun, you know, pretty fun to own the car thus far. So tell us a little bit about how, how fast the car's been. Have you guys ran it on pump gas for C85 or just, just all out? We, we wanted to detail everything from zero to however far we can get with it, right? So we, we did a first run, completely stock. It did 11.6. I want to say it was at around 118 miles an hour, 116 miles an hour. And then from there, we did a stage one tune from 034, and we did their TCU, and the car went 10.6. street tires, nothing else, and, and you know, the couple mods that I mentioned. We wanted to go a little bit further. Uh, 034 didn't offer anything 
after that. So we got with Unitronic and Brian and John have been phenomenal. They sent us over a injector upgrade and then we did their four inch inlet and TCU and ECU tune and the car just transformed. On E85, it went 10-3. Uh, drag radials and then on the slicks it went 99 at 136 <laughs> think about it that that's pretty mind-blowing factory transmission factory engine factory turbo bolt-ons fuel and a nine second car yeah it's pretty wild and so the one thing I absolutely cannot wait to feel is a, a dig in this car because from I haven't been in one I've been in the RS3 the RS3 the launch was ridiculously fast but the one thing that I've heard is these actually launch harder on the street than the RS3s will so I cannot wait to feel that yeah I think I think you're gonna like it I, I'm, I'm blown away with what Audi has done and Unitronic on these uh, on these cars. I mean, the launch is so smooth, but it's it dead hooks. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> so as far as fuel system, uh, we're still running on the stock pump. It does have a injector upgrade from Unitronic, which you can purchase from them. The actual tune, the engine is basically a. a what you call a can tune. It's, uh, it's basically their stock stage two E85 file. Um, we haven't modified it yet aside from the launch control. We have been playing around with the launch control back and forth with uh, Brian and John over at Unitronic. thing I will say the previous models I haven't always been a huge fan of and this is the first model that it's really breathtaking yeah. the lines on the car the performance is just next level man yeah I think I was just like everybody else when I thought about buying a TT I was thinking well I don't know how I feel about that and then I started researching more and I, it just made sense with the amount of weight that you save from an RS3 I was like yeah it's a no-brainer so I don't think I've seen any other on on these wheels yet right or is this the first one on it as far as i know these this is the first one on on this set of wheels it took a couple of tries back and forth uh, trying to find the right measurements and the right barrels and stuff to work but so in the past these weren't always known to be like performance cars you know i, I was blown away that they're so much lighter and perform just as well and I, I think they they probably even launch better than the rs3 audi killed it with this car hands down i was just as impressed as you i mean when i purchased the car i purchased it in north carolina so i got to drive it all the way from north carolina to florida that's a fun and trip. yeah man and i was just <laughs> hitting it at every corner i could and uh and i was just blown away i was like man that the audi just did a phenomenal job with the car and these audi interiors these days are just so nice. I love the, the red stitching. It's got the Alcantara. I can't believe this thing has back seats. Good for somebody with no legs or, hey man, family car, baby seat. <laughs> man, that's fun. <laughs> it's crazy to say because the RS3 isn't a big car. You know, it's it's still it's a sedan. It's got four doors, but and it, but it still relatively feels very tight handling and and like a go kart. But this feels even more just like it's a way smaller car than the RS3. If you're in in that spot where you want to buy a sports car that you want to dual purpose or you know something like where you want to maybe go to racetrack, go to mile, or maybe you want to do some track racing like Sebring. I mean, this is all around car. This is like an a really really good all-around car i don't think you can get anything better and then the money and then you want to hit the club looking like tony stark yeah you're good yeah. there too <laughs> <laughs> i really love how audi over the years is really transformed like the front end of the rs series to to be more like their supercar like the r8 that's just something that when that when that latest model r8 came out with that front end i mean everybody lost their minds over that and you can see that design that same design trickling down what they did with the uh fenders where it's like flared now you get a little bit more wheel i was able to fit a 275 which 
Wow. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that, so I, you know, That's we're badass. sitting on four 275s. So we just did three launches, pretty much back to back, and this thing did not skip a beat. So we got some one ethanol, a little bit of the good stuff. Gonna fill her up and try another zero to 60. Let me show you guys a little bit of the interior here. It's wild, this thing is real nice. You're so low to the ground in this thing. Seats are super dope. Got our helmet ready to go for some track runs. Cool little touch here. A little carbon fiber on the door handle here. Real, real nice. Ready to do this? Yep. All right. It like takes your breath away a little yeah, bit, huh? Dude. Bro, this thing leaves so much harder than the RS3, man. Holy sh! I didn't feel oh. the RS3, but I already can tell. I mean, just from looking from the outside, you can tell. I'll tell you right now, that launch, 100% TRC approved. Just huge stamp right there. That is just something else, man. <laughs> it gets the blood moving for sure, bro. Nice. So it'll actually leave harder if you leave it on the two-step a little more. Oh, for yeah. So what you're saying is I should launch it again. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So per Fernando, he said to go ahead and rip it again. So I won't say no to that. spun for sure yeah that was spun but then the front just the front wheels were just or the front tires were just carrying it carrying it and the back was just hazing them dude that is so much fun it sticks you into the sea I and mean, <laughs> sticks you back in the sea <laughs> when we were at tx2k we launched like a 900 ish horsepower uh porsche turbo s outside of that this for sure is like the fastest launching street car I've been in. The only other thing I can compare this to is that blue WRX that was at the Invitational at one time. Oh, but that's dude. A, I mean, that's a total race well, car. Well, remember, that was on the close. track. Yeah. I so mean, he's got full traction. Yeah. For this being on the street on just like asphalt, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's just next level, man. I mean, to be able to compare the two, I mean, track and, and on the street, I mean, that's just a testament to what this car can do. Dude, my man, <laughs> you get a huge TRC approved fist bump right there. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it gets more fun than that for just, I mean, it'll, it'll literally do it over and over and over. The consistency is just so awesome, man. All right, man. Well, let's, uh, let's go for a couple more hits. All right, let's do it. To be honest, a lot of guys might roast me for it, but I'm digging this more than the RS3, to be honest. It's, it's rad. Oh, jeez, oh, those shifts. This thing is so much fun. And again, I mean, guys, you got to understand, I ride in a lot of cars and I've been in things that are in cars, Lambos, GTRs that are 1800 horsepower, 400 horsepower, naturally aspirated three rotor RX-7s, like you'll see in, in, in Jack Seasel's episode. Different power ranges, appreciate, appreciate them all in, in their own way. And this car, for just being a full street car, I mean, you can drive this thing cross country. You know, we got the AC blasting. We probably hit 1.2 Gs or, or more, or something like that from a dig. Just all around fun factor. I mean, this is 100% TRC butt dyno approved. <laughs> it's just so much fun. And the crisp, clean shifts on this DSG is just, I mean, it's like, it's like nothing else. I just gotta say, people are really sleeping on these things. I mean, including myself, I had no idea these, this platform and the newer ones were, the new, newer TTRSs were this, this awesome. I mean, it's basically an RS3 on steroids. We, we called Mark's RS3 the baby R8. And <laughs> I think to be honest, truly, this, I think this is the baby R8. When it comes to like the lines and when it comes to just, I mean, all, all around performance, I, I can't say enough positive things about this car, man. I, I can't thank you enough for, for taking me for a spin. Oh, awesome, man. Thank you so much.